You're about to meet a five-year-old with an amazing memory. Please welcome the tiny genius that is Raphael. <laughs> Mr. Raphael, aren't you a gentleman? Well, you've got excellent manners and you look fantastic. Thanks. Got a bow tie on, you look better than I do. <laughs> do you agree with that? <laughs> you have an amazing memory. Yeah. How do you do that? I, I just take photos and I send them to my brain so then I can remember. I think that's a photographic memory. Yeah. I should show the audience something to give them an idea of how good your memory is. So, you were shown 50 cards and you named each one of them from memory. Mark, speed, dentures, jungle, fortune teller, and a fine glass. Have you ever heard the expression, forgive and forget? Yep. You won't be able to do that. You're just going to have to forgive and that'll be it. <laughs> That's going to be tough, isn't it? What's going to happen when you get married? Um, I don't really have a lover yet. <laughs> it's probably a good thing. Yeah. Mum, when did you first realise that he had an amazing memory? He was very young and I noticed he could remember people's names, things he was learning and stories I was reading, he could remember them. Wow. Does he ever help you when you're at a party and you can't remember someone's name? Do you just lean down and go, Raphael, who the hell is this? <laughs> Actually, yes. You do, really? <laughs> so, now, what about languages? Are you learning any languages? I know French, You English. know French? Come on, ça va. Come on, ça va. Come on, ça va. Come on, ça va. <laughs> Sounds like American for a footballer. What's that mean? How are you? Ask me in two minutes how to say it and I'll have forgotten. Mm. That's where we differ. Are you learning any other languages? Korean, Spanish and Japanese. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't really know all Japanese, yeah. Well, I reckon that's all right. You're only five. Yeah. How are you going to make your money? Make my mummy. <laughs> don't have to make your mummy. Mummy's job was to make you. That job has been done. Yeah. So, so you don't have to make a mummy. I mean, unless you're unhappy with the one you got. <laughs> what would you rate her out of one to ten? One to ten? Yeah. Ten being the best, one being eh. <laughs> what are you going to give her out of ten? <laughs> this is taking a while. A ten. A oh, ten. That took a while to get to that. <laughs> now listen, any people you look up to or you want to meet or you want to be? You can't be. Somebody else, you gotta be yourself. Oh, what a great way of looking at things. It is important to just be happy with who you are, isn't it? Yeah. Now, listen, I believe you can recite the periodic table of elements. Yep. Is that true? You've memorised that. There are 118 elements in right. the periodic table. And I memorised them only in, in five days. Wow. Well, let's sit down here. Yeah. Is this good? Sit right here. Fantastic. All right. So now we're going to invite anyone from the audience. I so a blindfold. You won't have to yet because I'm not going to let you see okay. these. <laughs> we're going to invite anyone from the audience to yell at a number from the periodic table of elements. You can see the screen behind me. And I'll have to answer the element. What he said. So let's get into this. Here we go. 31. 31. Gallium. Correct. Who's <laughs> there? 28. 28. Nickel. 
goal. Correct. 53. 53. Iodine. Correct. 85. 85. Ask the team. Correct again. We'll take one more. I'm going to go right up the back. This little girl yell it out. 99. 99. All right, it's time for the quick fire round. What is number 74? Tungsten. Bang. What is number 12? Magnesium. Number 67? Chromium. Bang, he gets there, doesn't he? The last one off the cards, number 74. 74. You already did that one. Oh, All right, Tessia. Put your hands together for the incredible Raphael. Mate, you remember everything and I have a feeling everyone's going to remember you.